today I will show you the unboxing and review of this latest model of a sliding miter saw from Evolution R255 SMS. Let's get to it! Before we dig into the box, I just want to mention that this saw was provided to me by the Evolution Tools. Um, obviously, it's obligation free, so my review will be totally my thoughts. There's no script or anything like that, so you can be assured that what I say is what I think. Let's get into it. Well then, it's time to assemble the saw.
As you've seen, um, you know, assembly of the saw wasn't too bad at all. Fairly quick and simple, uh, no problems whatsoever. Um, obviously a fine tuning was necessary to make sure the saw will cut straight and true but as you've seen uh, the adjustments are fairly simple and easy to make as well. So let's talk about the features of the saw. The saw comes with a laser, I think it's a fairly decent um, addition to the saw itself at least in a you know, visible way you can see where the blade is going to go. Another feature I really like about this so is actually a stop. Basically, you can adjust the depth of the cutting of the blade, uh, which is really handy when you have to do some uh, uh, dado slots or anything like that. You just adjust uh, the knob here. You've got the plate that that will rest there and uh, it will cut to that level. Obviously, if you don't want to change all the time and unscrew this, you can just flip that over and it will go right down to the full volume. At the back of the machine, we've got the dust extraction point so you can plug in your shop vac. What you also got is a stop for the head going up. It's, um, it helps you when you have to you know, take the saw somewhere on the building side or anything like that, move it around. That will make sure the head will stay down and it will not move around. Also, um, this sliding um, motion can be stopped or adjusted to any position you want with that knob and this is now not going anywhere. Obviously this saw you can also make bevel cuts, you've got a, um, a knob here you can unscrew that and then you can um, adjust the blade to whatever position or angle you want, uh, lock it in place and now you can make bevel cuts. Obviously you can make mitre cuts, you have to undo your knob and there's a lever underneath just grab it and just um, tilt it wherever you want. You've got some set stops as you can see. So obviously you've got 0, 15, 30, 45, somewhere in between there. And obviously it goes um, both ways. So the maximum uh, angles, you can have 50 on either side. So that's most of the uh, useful features you're going to use on this saw. Obviously you have to consider that it actually does take a lot of space as it is a sliding uh, sliding saw. So you have to consider if you've got enough space in your, uh, in your workshop for it. But uh, all in all I really like the features, it looks quite well made uh, and robust. I haven't had any issues so far with it. So let's put it to the test.
as you've seen we went through some really basic tests here just to prove that actually yeah it does cut quite well and um, the tear out is absolutely minimal and obviously the angles when we do when we done the mitres and the bevels they've met and there was no gaps between them so from that perspective this is a definitely a good saw evolution is quite known for the blades obviously this one can cut through metal and wood and the quality is fair um, obviously don't expect really really amazing quality um, for the wood you will get a minimal tear out but what you can actually do they do have a designed specific blade for wood only and um, they also got a blade for like um, tiles or stones or bricks you can cut that as well so um, you know a variety of three different um, blades for one saw I think it's a fairly fairly good deal I will purchase the other two blades for wood and for you know for tiles and all that and we'll do a proper big test of all the blades for this particular saw so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it the features on the saw are very good some of them you actually meet on the you know more expensive um, miters so basically you've got your laser that's very good and always helps a little bit when you try to um, you know align your work and how to cut it the miter goes up to 50 degrees on both sides some of the miter saws from different makes different companies are actually limited with um, one of the angles one of the sides will be less than 50 and in this case you can go 50 degrees either way this saw is a single bevel uh, saw so obviously you can do bevel cuts up to 45 degrees and as you seen me on the video it's fairly easy to set up as well the saw itself is a fairly lightweight so it's easy to move around what I also like is a very very nice feature for the power cable as you've seen it's you know it's out of the way it's um, it's got its own hanging mechanism and I think that's a very good feature also the hexagon key um, you know it's got its own place when you need to adjust anything on the saw it's got its own place so you're never going to lose it and I find that as a very very thought through little thing that adds a little bit to the saw another feature that I absolutely love on this saw and I wasn't expecting it you know considering the price range of this saw and um, basically is the depth stop so you can stop the blade on a specific depth and make some uh, data slots or, or whatever else you want so that is absolutely brilliant addition to this saw it also has got a soft start which I really like and also the blade stops very quickly which is also a very good feature when you're trying to make uh, a quick repetitive cuts so what are the downside of this machine well to be absolutely honest with you I actually found at the minute just one which is the dust extraction system obviously you've seen I was cutting with that my shop vac and it was flying all over the place and then I've uh, hooked up my shop vac and was still producing quite a lot of dust so the dust extraction system uh, is actually not the greatest on this saw and the last thing I want to talk to you uh, you know you can see the quality of the build of this machine is very very good and the company actually recognizes that because this machine comes with three years warranty tell you what not many companies actually do do that and put that much trust in their product that is saying something so this saw comes out for sale on the 5th of March on in screw fix to start with for about I think three months of a whopping price of $149.99 guys you cannot go wrong with a price like that with this saw I doubt you're gonna buy anything else that good with so many features at that price range this is an absolute steal and I absolutely love it but is it worth buying it all depends guys basically if you do I like myself or you've got a small shop I think you cannot go wrong with this machine if you are a fully professional carpenter or you know a full-time woodworker um, with a massive workshop um, not sure if that would be probably the best solution for you you're probably looking at um, a higher level like Bosch or even K packs from uh, Festool obviously you know we, we cannot compare these tools 
uh, to this evolution saw but if your budget is tight and you're actually looking for a very good reliable saw you cannot go wrong with this one I can fully recommend it obviously you know it's of early days at the minute it's cutting straight there's no issues with it so please make sure to stick with my channel because obviously I will be using it on daily basis and if anything goes wrong with this machine or you know I'll find some fault I will definitely let you know so make sure to subscribe to my channel for some future content and remember in couple of weeks time we'll be testing the blades for this machine as well but as always guys thank you so much for watching uh, I hope you've got uh, enough information how to put this saw together how it works how it performs if you've got any more questions about this saw, please drop me a comment down below if you did enjoy it and you liked it and you find the information useful leave me that thumbs up button and I hope to see you on my next video or my next project till then take care